Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today we'll be starting with module 4 of antenna and wave propagation. So today the first topic that we'll be discussing is beam steering. So what is beam steering? Well, let's find out. So what do you mean by beam steering? Well, it is about changing the direction of the main lobe of a particular radiation pattern. And that is, if this is a particular antenna and if this is transmitting radiation in this direction, then it will have a major lobe in this direction. So, with the help of beam steering, we can change the direction of that major lobe to whatever direction that we want. That is why we use beam steering. So, what are the advantages of using beam steering? Well, it reduces the interference, it saves power, it increases the gain and the directivity of the antenna. That is why we use beam steering. So, the next question that you'd be asking yourself is, how is this possible? How do we steer beams? Well, if you ask that question, you're on the right track. Well, let's find out. So, how do we accomplish beam steering? Well, it is accomplished by simply just switching the antenna elements. That is, when we have an array of antennas, just by the process of switching the, each of these elements of these an array of antennas, we can achieve beam steering. That is, just by switching the antenna elements, we can change the direction of radiation of the major lobe of a particular radiation. So, why do we need this? Why do we need beam steering antennas? Well, we need beam steering antennas because beam steering antennas are defined so that the antennas can be able to form narrow directional beams with relatively lower side lobes so that the beams can be electronically steered towards an intended target of transmission and reception. That is why we need beam steering antennas. So summing it up, just putting into simple words, beam steering is simply just the process of steering the particular radiation of a particular antenna towards the intended direction that we need. This is accomplished just by changing the direction of the major lobe. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what beam steering in antennas mean and we'll be discussing much more in the following module in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys till the next video. Thank you.